Hello and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic and finally we're back because yeah I had that error that uh, prevents you from going into the game uh, but someone actually did tell me that you don't actually have to press OK on the error message box so that was maybe my fault but I, well, I don't know I'm not sure why it even appeared but anyway we have the Hollow Communicator let's start Showdown's Wake. Hey there. Always an honor when I can get some time from someone as busy as you. I'm glad we got in touch, cause I got a favor to ask. You know I'm always up for a social call, when there's time for it. With Hedda Cole on the run again, it's all hands on deck. That means I've gotta go where Mandalore wants me, otherwise I'd handle this myself. My friend Lane is back on Runic. Mandalore's got her chasing down all the hidden chain riffraff that stayed behind. You and I both know that getting anything done on that dust ball is a challenge, and Lane doesn't have a lot of resources. But Lane would never ask for help, especially from someone like you. She's about as stubborn as Mandalore, <laughs> must run in their family. In fact, she'll probably kill me for asking you to back her up, but it's a risk I'm willing to take. So, what do you say? How do you feel about cleaning up some of Hedda's garbage? That's what I'm talking about. One more thing. Last time I was on Lane's bad side, she put adhesive spray in my jetpack's exhaust veins. Took me weeks to get it out. What I'm saying is, it'd be great if you didn't tell Lane it was me who sent you. Anyway, I appreciate you hearing me out on this. See you around. Oh, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Lane Vizsla? Who, is, is, this, is this Shay's sister or something like that? Because I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm in the dark about this. Did he just say that, by the way? I have extremely bad attention here. But yeah, whatever the case, I'm very much looking forward to seeing who this is. And we're apparently not supposed to say that Ras Ordo sent us. So let's keep that in mind. Because <laughs> you know me. I'm going to put my foot in my mouth and then I'm going to be like, Oh yes, Ras Ordo sent me. Uh, oh, and then she's going to be really annoyed. Huh? Look who it is. Shouldn't you be off with Shay, planning her next move against the traitor? Well, you might want to temper your expectations. Shay stuck me with cleanup duty. Thought you might be above that. You're pretty chummy with my cousin. She tell you what I'm doing? Yeah, that's the short of it. The showdown between Shay and Hedda got pretty chaotic. When it was over, a lot of the hidden chain dogs ran off after their master. Shay and the Arbiter, mostly the Arbiter, withdrew all of our people from Runic too. Then we got word that some of Hedda's soldiers stuck around. They're not big enough for an army, but there's enough that they could clear the way for Hedda to come back. My job is to keep that from happening. But I don't want to just round up some traitors and be done with it. We've been watching them. They're looking for something. I want to find out what it is. No, we can't. Don't know why the traders picked this rock in the first place. Can't imagine there'd be much left that we haven't blown to bits. But that's what I want you to look into for me. I've got a couple of places I want you to sweep. Look for schematics, data readouts, anything that can tell me why they came here and why they've stayed. I've got to stay back. I'm working on something that I can't get away from. But something tells me that's not going to make much of a difference. Once you've got enough information to start putting the pieces together, let me know. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. So, is it just me, or uh, is Zainash uh, surprisingly... Um, <laughs> he is surprisingly quiet, is he not? Yes, he is. And that means, that means they weren't able to get the voice actor, right? They weren't able to get the voice actor to come back, which is very, very sad indeed, because uh, I actually really like him. I like the way that he portrays the character of the Sith Inquisitor. And now I'm now I'm sad. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, you know, that's just how it goes. That's just how it goes. Okay, so we need to recover a hidden chain access card. I have no idea where this thing is. Um. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this is bad. Oh, dear. All right, fine. Let's just go uh, to Mandalore's encampment, I guess. I 
I don't know. I, I guess we're just going to have to see what's going on. Ah, hello there. Okay, yeah, so there is actually a taxi. And apparently we need to go over here to the waterworks. All right. All right, so I have snuck into the hidden chain base uh, along with Lord Scourge here. They don't actually give you a companion for the, for the mission. So I'm basically just coming in here and being like, yeah, okay, we'll just use Lord Scourge because I think he seems like a cool character. All right, let's actually attack. Um, this is actually kind of weird. I'm kind of surprised that they have just told me to go and get this thing. It's a bit weird to me. I'm not entirely sure what's actually going on with this quest line. Because from my reckoning, uh, we should just be having some more story-based stuff going on. But apparently not. Apparently that's not what we're doing right here. So we're just going to kill these guys. I think we already got it. Yeah, that was super fast. And now we have to decrypt infrastructure data hopefully i don't need to get a card every single time to do that this is really easy though as a stealth based character as i've said multiple times you know over the course of this new series stealth based characters are so so simple to use and hopefully can i do you think i can actually decrypt this while standing here oh okay yeah that, that was <laughs> <laughs> little bit too, little bit too hopeful, shall we say? A little bit too hopeful about that because I was thinking to myself, yes, maybe I can actually do that. Because in some games, uh, you can actually, you know, sap the NPC that's close to the thing that you need to interact with, and then, you know, doing the objective, whatever it is, and still being able to then re-stealth. Which would it be? Um, that would be that would be super cool. I, I think that would be really really fun and a quite innovative and creative uh, for us to be able to do that. But of course, no, we are not able to, unfortunately. Oh, maybe we might be able to do something here. There doesn't seem to be any any NPCs close to this. But yeah, I'm actually kind of um, saddened by the fact that we don't have a Zane Ash's voice actor along for the ride here. So they went with the um, you know silent protagonist kind of deal. Which is absolutely fine, obviously, most of the time. But, uh, you know, obviously it's much more fun and engaging if we have uh, him speaking and uh, doing his doing his thing. But, uh, well, you know, he, he's obviously uh, somewhere else. I don't know, maybe he's busy. Or um, maybe, uh, maybe they just didn't want to pay him. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what's going on with that. But uh, I, would, I would highly doubt that it's the, the latter because... They have literally been employing him for, well, a considerable amount of time. Let's just say that. I mean, literally, you know, it's like, uh, when did this game come out? I don't know. Um, what was it? 20... What was it? Did it come out in 2012? Did it really come out in 2012? Surely not. I think it came out sometime around there, but I can't remember the actual, the actual year. But whatever the case, it's been out for a long time. And he's... This voice actor has been in the game since that time, since the beginning, right? I, I seem to recall, you know, it's exactly the same voice. Um, so yeah, that is a long time to be working on the same project. And I highly doubt that it would be a money thing. But you never know. You never know with EA and, and things like that involved, you know. What, what, what? Oh, I went the wrong way. Oh, of course I did. This is a dead end. Ah, we are entering a personal phase here, so you know what that means. Hopefully we're going to get some story, and hopefully it's not going to be Mr. Silent Protagonist again, but you never know. Oh, it is. Hurry up and get those pressure valves working again, damn it. Kerr's waiting on us. What's the rush, Arla? You've got us tearing up water stations and power conduits left and right. Now you want us to fix them? Shut up, someone's here. Step forward, whoever you are. <laughs> Says Pet. What are you doing back here? Get lost on your way home? Oya Elite! Let's bring Kerr a trophy he'll never forget. Uh, okay, okay, so question. What, 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 what was that? Okay, that was really strange. I'm not entirely sure what Bioware is doing at this point, but... The... That, that is such a weird way to present that cutscene because okay here's the thing if Zaynash isn't gonna say anything right let's say that he's not gonna say anything anyway because you know the voice actor isn't available that, that's okay okay you know that's fine but that doesn't mean that they have to have this weird like um 
like uh, black bars on the on the screen kind of deal. They don't have to put that that overlay on on the screen because if he's not gonna have anything to say anyway, because he doesn't quite clearly, you know, he's not saying anything in these cutscenes. Then it seems weird to me that they would put that on there at that exact moment. That seems super super strange. Oh well, never mind. We just now have to face a uh, an opponent who here <laughs> 1.6 million HP. Well, that is a that is a fun fun situation, isn't it? Okay, yeah, I guess I just have to continue beating on her a little bit here. All right, so there we go. We managed to defeat her finally. It was pretty much just a case of a tank and spank kind of situation, so nothing really to worry about. She did actually uh, attempt to use some mines on the floor, but these were easily avoided. Anyway, let's speak to her in uh, another quote-unquote conversation. Get away from me, Imperial. I never trusted your kind. I won't die by the hand of Shay Fizzler's lapdog. No one you'll ever meet. Is that supposed to scare me? All right, so we <laughs> we just captured her. Okay, that's very funny. Okay, well that's that's cool. I I mean I'm I'm actually really liking the fact that they're giving us alternate options here. Like for example, capture her. Or, uh, or kill her or whatever, and it doesn't have anything to do with dark side, light side, or anything like that, so I think it's quite nice. And hopefully we're going to be able to get some more information out of her, or hopefully Lane is. Several data files are stored in this terminal. I now have to narrate this, including fragmented records of a mining company's activities on Runic. Many of the records are corrupted, but some fragments can be accessed. What would you like to view? Open mining productivity reports. Or the infrastructure network status. Probably the network status. Operable water purification depots. Two. Thank you. Oper operable power stations. One. This is literally the most... <laughs> oh, why? Why are, they, why are they telling me this? Terminal power capacity critical. System shutdown is imminent. Oh, okay, well that's not particularly good. Use terminal to repair and reboot offline or use terminal to shut down operable infrastructure sites used by hidden chain forces. Yeah, probably that. If we can actually do that. Did we do it? Okay, apparently we did it. Okay, fantastic. Well, I mean that was what I was supposed to do, right? Wasn't that was what I was supposed to do? Oh no. Now now I'm now I'm having a bad feeling about this. All right, so Mandalore's encampment is where we need to go. So we just need to return back to Lane, right? Am I am I correct in assuming that that is indeed the case? I mean, it doesn't tell me. I feel like the map is actually kind of kind of bad. I don't know. All right, well, let's just do that. This is quick travel. It's going to cost me money, which I find quite funny as well. I'm not sure why it costs me money to quick travel, but there you go. Because, I mean, we're in a war zone, kind of, at the moment. And I don't think there's going to be a taxi available, to be honest. But there you go. Anyway, let's make our way over to Lane. She's thankfully not too far away. And as you can see, we could easily get here with quick travel. And uh, I actually wonder, can I go back there? Yes, I can. I can very easily go back there if I want to with another quick travel usage. So that shouldn't be too bad. And look at that. Another personal phase. That was quick. I guess strength in the force and all that makes any job easy. You don't need to convince me or anything. The work got done. That's all that matters. I've always said that Shay's biggest strength is the people she surrounds herself with. You continue to prove me right. Let's see what you found out there. Looks like the Hidden Chain built their infrastructure on the back of an old mining operation. A really unlucky mining operation. Hedda had everything she could ever need already waiting for her. Water, power generators, digging equipment. But it looks like you took out the last of it. Would have been nice for us. But hey, at least we know the traders can't use it again. Find anything else interesting? Other than the prisoner I didn't ask you to bring back here? I know her. She died before talking to us. And now, I've got one more mouth to feed. 
At least now we know who drew the short straw when Hedda asked people to stay behind. Sounds like the stragglers are Clan Harangir. They're old money, with an even older name. Clan Harangir claims they're descended from Cad Harangir, an old Mandalorian god of destruction. Decades of that kind of notoriety, power, and credits have given them quite the inflated self-image. They consider it an insult if you don't recognize their prestigious history. They consider it a threat if you don't give them the respect they demand. Must be why they switched sides. Shay didn't kiss their boots like the other clan leaders did. Can't think of any other reason. Shay's never been one to coddle such fragile personalities. It was only a matter of time before some of the more entitled clans went the way of the hidden chain. But I still don't understand why Clan Harangir would agree to cleaning up Hedda's mess. They'd think an order like that was below them. No, they must be after something else. Something Hedda might not even know about. There's a particular area they've been circling for a while, full of derillium deposits. Maybe that's where their prize is. You check there, and I'll keep looking through the data files you brought me, see if there's something I'm missing. By the time you come back, I'll have more of this figured out. Hopefully. Right, so I actually wasn't supposed to bring this woman back. Okay, well that's not particularly good, is it? Okay, well, you know, Lane, you can literally just shoot her now if you want. I mean, we, or you can just tell me and I'll, I'll just take care of the the problem. Uh, okay, well, yeah, me... me me failing to understand what to do in the uh, in the quest, notwithstanding. Well, I have no idea where to go next. That is the problem here. As you can see, I don't even... That's the funny thing. I have no idea how these things work. Because look at this. This is the map, right? But it doesn't show me any of the markers that I actually need to see. Which is very funny. I, I really have no idea. I'm just going to go to the waterworks, I suppose, so that I can see the overhead map. And maybe that's going to make a bit of a difference. But they have made this particular area quite difficult to navigate because they just don't give me the information that I need. But, oh well, never mind. Okay, yeah, so they are telling me to go over to the excavation uh, overlook, which I do not have. Right. Alright, so it looks like we're gonna need to defeat a bunch of random hidden chain enemies here to be able to uh, recover the mining data. And this is actually a very, very large area as you can see right here. I actually don't think we're gonna be able to go down onto the ground there, but there are a couple of crates of mysterious tech, for example, that you are gonna be able to interact with if you so desire. But for me, probably just gonna focus on the objective and then we'll see where that leads us but yes most of the time it seems like these enemies all drop it so I should be pretty lucky and shouldn't have to be here for too long and then we can head back to lane all right so we were able to complete the task and look at that we don't even need to travel all the way back to lane because apparently she's contacting us on the holo communicator thank goodness that's all I can say don't have time for pleasantries. I need you back out there, now. Like I said, something we don't have a lot of time to discuss. I poured over every bit of data you brought me. Every readout, every message, every schematic. It all comes back to one thing. You know what a basilisk is? A basilisk droid? Basilisk war droids are like nothing else. We can ride them, form bonds with them. They're like beasts, but better. They can carry mines, cannons, missile launchers, plasma generators. They're dangerously beautiful. All the data files you took from the Harangir traders paint a very clear picture. Whatever they're doing out there, it has something to do with basilisk droids. All that digging they've been doing could be the ore under Runic's surface is useful for building the droids. Could be something else. One of the schematics you brought me showed a clear path through their tunnel systems. I sent some people to scout the tunnels, thought maybe they could find something that would tell us for sure what the Harangiers have been up to. They never came back. Tried raising them on comms. I get nothing but silence back. I know this place isn't exactly easy to get around, not to mention all the wildlife that's riled up by us being here. But none of that should be a problem. For my people. They're Mandalorians. 
Someone got to them. I know. But even if you don't, you can at least bring back whatever they found about the Harangiers. And if my people are dead, I don't want it to have been for nothing. Even with all the data you brought me, there are still a lot of hiding places out there. I'll stay back and try to pinpoint where the traitors might be holed up. But you can start looking where I last heard from my soldiers. I'll send you the coordinates. And just... <sighs> if you can't help them, make sure Clan Harangir pays. Well, I will try my best. That sounds like an extremely cool, um, cool kind of weapon, though. The war droid basilisk or whatever they call. I think that's super, super fun to actually have a droid that can bond with their uh, owners or whatever you want to call them. I don't know. Anyway, that I, I think that seems pretty fun. Okay, so um, yeah, I'm actually just gonna go straight up to the excavation overlook. I'm just gonna quick travel right up there because they do say that I should go into uh using the um what, what is it the taxi service i guess you can kind of call it yeah the, the transport service here and it says for me to go to the outpost delta so that is exactly where i will quick travel next all right so we're coming up on the last known coordinates of the uh forces of lanes and hopefully we're going to be able to oh dear yeah i i kind of expected them not to be alive something happened to them look around Maybe the traitors got sloppy when they attacked my people. Dropped something that leads back to their lair. The grace, the power. Uh, it doesn't seem like that he got sloppy, but they... I mean, they might have, but it seems like they are indeed attacking me. So we're probably going to need to just take care of them first, and then we can maybe look around and see what's going on. And, uh, yeah, we're getting a couple of conquest objectives being completed here. Defeat enemies on Runic. And there we have it. Okay, so now we have to search for clues, and there is one right here. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I actually thought there was going to be a little bit of a uh, little bit of dialogue there. That's why I shut up. But oh well, never mind. Apparently not. Okay, so now we need to go and search the coordinates, which is in here. Oh, that's a pretty significant way. I'm actually wondering, machine scrapyard. Do I have that? I do. Okay. <laughs> What's going on with this place? What is going on with this? This is literally one of their latest patches, and no offense, okay? I love this game. But, what are they doing with this? What are they doing with this whole, like, okay, I'm gonna tell you to go every single path that I can think of. And I'm gonna send you here, there, and everywhere, and that's basically what is happening. Okay, so unfortunately, it looks as though... Yeah. Huh. Huh. Okay, it seems like I'm going to have to actually go to this one instead. My bad. Yeah, anyway, what I wanted to say is I don't know why they're designing these particular quests like this. Because apart from the fact that obviously we don't have any... Um, wait a minute, did they not... They didn't transport me, did they? Destination? No, I will just take a taxi then. All right. Anyway, the point is, apart from the fact that we don't have any voiced lines from Zane Ash, which is, uh, you know, kind of kind of sad, because as I say, I, I think he does a great job, and I, I like hearing him. Um, apart from that, it is literally sending me from point A to point B to point A to point B over and over again. And obviously, yes, you're going to say, oh yeah, yeah, you know, that's, that's MMOs, you know, that is MMORPGs, that's kind of how things work. However, what I'm actually saying right now is why is it so difficult for me to know where to go? Why doesn't it say to me, like, if I look on the world map, for example, right here, if I look on the world map, it shows me all of this, right? It shows me the taxis, and that's it. It doesn't show me anything else. It doesn't show me my quest objectives. It, it tells me this whole massive legend on the left here that tells me every single thing that I could ever want to know about these icons, but there are no icons on the map. Is that because I'm not actually filtering? It's the filter? Is that what I need to do? No. No, as you can see, there is, no there is nothing. It literally just tells me there, you know, I can put mail on there, but it doesn't actually tell me the quests. You've got exploration missions, magnify cursor, so I can actually see things a little bit more if I wanted to. But 
look, there are no quests being filtered here. So, yeah, it's it's super weird. I don't know why. I don't know why they've made this so incredibly difficult to kind of navigate because this is you know, this is 2023 that they're making this this update. I would have 100% expected a little bit more, uh, shall we say, usability, quality of life improvement kind of deal. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe you find it completely fine and, and maybe I'm just not used to it or whatever. But from my perspective, I feel like it should show you on the world map where you need to go just so that it doesn't waste your time. You, you know, you can kind of understand, oh, okay, I need to go there you know, instantly. And that's it. Dying. That would have been much, much easier. Anyway, we will hopefully be able to eliminate this guy. He actually seems pretty harsh. Look at this guy. He's actually murdering me right now. What if I die? That would be terrible. There we go. We managed to, to live, surprisingly enough. And now we can transmit the recovered data back to Lane. There we go. Traders are everywhere. See anything useful? It, is that is that it really just these three things okay uh yeah i mean i was scanning this and i was thinking to myself oh is that is that actually the thing but apparently not okay yeah let's just scan this thing as well that warehouse they mentioned there's one of these schematics that fits the description that's a lot of foot traffic i'd put good credits down on that being their base of operations Right, okay, so that would be their base of operations, right, okay, yeah, that's absolutely fine. So if I, if I drop down here, am I going to die? Yes, okay. <laughs> uh, something tells me a Sith should have fall damage reduction, don't you think? Uh, <laughs> that was very funny anyway. Okay, so yeah, what I'm going to need to do is I guess I'm actually just going to take the taxi back to that point. Uh, I don't know what it, what it is, but the level design on Runuk seems very weird. I, I don't know. I have not had any other complaints or any difficulties, in fact, with any other planet in this entire game. Maybe, uh, maybe just one. I seem to recall that there was one that was a bit frustrating to navigate, but this one definitely takes the cake for that. And uh, thankfully, we can just move on here and then we'll be fine. But yeah, I mean, the fact that I have to um, take a taxi and go all the way around. I mean, I could have just mo moved, you know, down the slope a little bit, you know, a little bit smarter. But why? Why should I have to do that? I'm a Sith. I should not die from, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm probably just complaining for the sake of it now, but. Anyway, let's just see what we can do here. I'm going to obviously be able to sneak by quite a few enemies. We should be pretty good. And now we just have to wait for the triangulation. As you can see, she says, I think I know where they took them. Okay. Was that it? <laughs> I was waiting for... The oh, no. Oh, this is such... Oh, this is such a disjointed quest. I'm not entirely sure why. Oh well, sad, sad. Anyway, let me... Do I have to move back this way or is it upstairs? That's the question. I think it's probably back this way. Because it seems like I need to go outside here. Yeah, yeah. It, it, there is also an elevator that I'm going to need to use. So, investigating the hidden warehouse. And it is actually a personal phase. Yeah, Alright, I'll keep my mouth shut while you get in there. Say something if things go belly up. Oh, well, that, oh, I, do they, <laughs> do they know that the voice actor is not actually going to be voicing the main character here? Or, uh, <laughs> is that, is that like a, that's, that's a very funny thing because say something if things go belly up, say something. No, well, we can't, we can't, the voice actor's not here. Uh, I find that funny. All right, so we have to defeat the warehouse guards. These dudes? Okay, yeah, these dudes. All right, and there's actually a bunch of Mandalorians in here, I think. Yes, Clan Vizsla over there. There's a bunch of them. So we should be able to rescue her people. She's going to be very pleased about that.
What are you doing, wretch? Step away from those soldiers. Get out. You're interfering with my work. Why should I waste my energy on you? Look at what your interference has cost me. My droids are in desperate need of repair, and because of you, I had to abandon some prime machinery. Now I have to look elsewhere, and finding such irreplaceable specimens will be difficult. I hope you don't. That coward can't get away with this. The sick Demogulkas got his hands on basilisk war droids. A Mandalorian should know how valuable it is to have something like that. But that's not good enough for Kerr Harangir. He's found others and brought them here, where no one else can see what he's doing. Even his precious field marshal. He's stripping parts, metal, whatever he can from the weaker droids. He experiments on them, and their suffering means nothing, as long as he can make the others more powerful. We tried to get to the ones in that other room, but something's wrong with the door. Wasn't enough power to get it open. We need to get back to Lane. She should know what's going on. Right, okay, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. What actually happened right here? How, do, how why are these guys now being attacked by some random droid? Okay, well, whatever the case, that's absolutely fine. We, wait a minute, wait a minute. These are Isotope 5 droids? Haven't we fought these before? in the game? I seem to remember these things being like a main enemy um, in one of the storylines. Hmm. I seem to remember that. I don't know. I, I, I think so. Anyway, that is going to be it for this episode. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.